Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, I am going to discuss student T test for testing differences between means of two samples. Let us first see what exactly I am going to discuss in this video. First, we will see what is the aim of the student T test. Then we will see steps involved in this test. Next, we will see some examples and finally exercise. Let us proceed with first point, the aim of the test. Let the mean and variance of two populations be respectively mu1 sigma1 square and mu2 sigma2 square. Let x1 bar be the mean of small sample of size n1 from first population and x2 bar be the mean of small sample of size n2 from second population. Then aim of this test is to compare the differences between the two means using student t-test. Now let us see the steps involved in this test. In step 1, we define null and alternative hypothesis. Null hypothesis should be stated as there is no significant difference between the means of two samples. Therefore, alternative hypothesis will be there is a significant difference between the means of two samples. Next, we calculate test statistics using the formula t is equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar divided by s into under root 1 upon n1 plus 1 by n2 where x1 bar is mean of first sample, x2 bar is mean of second sample. s is the deviation calculated using this formula, n1 is the size of first sample, n2 is the size of second sample. Formula for s is under root of summation x1i minus x1 bar the whole square plus summation x2i minus x2 bar the whole square divided by n1 plus n2 minus 2. Next, we compare this test statistics with the critical value at degrees of freedom n1 plus n2 minus 1 and at LOS 5% or 1% whichever is mentioned in the question. We assume this tabulated value be T1. In next step, we write the conclusion by comparing these two values. If calculated value is less than tabulated value, then we accept the null hypothesis. That is, we are concluding that there is no significant difference between the means of two samples. And if we see that the calculated value is greater than the tabulated value, then we say that null hypothesis is rejected. In that case, we are saying there is a significant difference between the means of two populations. I hope you understood these steps. Now let us proceed for the examples. Here is our first example. Here, two independent samples of size 8 and 7 respectively had the following values of the variables. So these are values of first variable say x1 and these are values of second variable say x2. The question is, is the difference between the means of samples significant? We are asked to take 5% LOS. Let us proceed for the solution. First we define hypothesis, null and alternative. Let us define H0. As I said, H0 should state there is no significant difference between the means of two samples. That means mu1 is equal to mu2 then alternative hypothesis will be there is a significant difference between the means of two samples that is mu1 is not equal to mu2. So of course this is two tail test. Now we proceed for test statistics. For that we need means of each sample. So let us calculate mean of x1. It is given by summation x1i divided by n1. When I calculate this I found x1 bar is 11.75. Similarly, x2 bar can be calculated as summation x2 upon n2. I found it is 10.43. Now we use this to calculate test statistic t. This is the formula for test statistic. x1 bar minus x2 bar divided by s into under root 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2. Here x1 bar is 11.75. x2 bar is 10.43. s we have to calculate using this formula. n1 and n2 are given in the question. They are 8 and 7 respectively. Now let us proceed first for the calculation of S. For that I am going to use this tabulated format. Here I have mentioned all the values of X1, all the values of X2. In this next column I am calculating what is X1 minus X1 bar the whole square. And next column we are calculating X2 minus X2 bar the whole square. This is the sum of all these values and this is the sum of all these values. So this is nothing but summation x1 minus x1 bar the whole square. This is summation x2 minus x2 bar the whole square. 
let us substitute this in the formula of s so summation x1 minus x1 bar the whole square that is 33.5 will go over here and this 23.7143 will go over here after some substituting after substituting and simplifying we get s is 2.09788 let us substitute this in t formula now let us proceed for critical value for critical value we have to take los 5 percent and degrees of freedom can be given by n1 plus n2 minus 2 n1 plus n2 is 15 therefore degrees of freedom is 13 now we'll search student t test table for degrees of freedom 13 and los 5 percent for two tail test this is t table degrees of freedom 13 is over here and for two tail test 5 percent los is over here so their intersection is at point 2.160 so this is the table value for 13 degrees of freedom and 5 percent los let us note down that table value 2.160 now finally we compare this table value with this calculated value we see mod of calculated value is less than this table value therefore we accept the null hypothesis and when we say so we are saying there is no significant difference between the means of two samples i hope you understood this example now let us proceed for the next one the following are the results obtained when body fat in percentage of men and women who work out in gym is measured so this is the data of men's and this is the data of women's the sample size is 13 for men's and 10 for women for men mean is 14.95 and for women mean is 22.29 for men standard deviation is 6.84 and for women standard deviation is 5.32 the question is is the difference between the means of samples significant we are asked to take 5% LOS. Let us proceed for the solution. First, we define H0 and HA. As I said earlier, H0 should state that there is no significant difference between the means of samples. Therefore, mu1 is equal to mu2. HA will say that there is a significant difference between the means of samples. Therefore, mu1 is not equal to mu2. So, therefore, this is two directional, that is two tail test. Next, we will note down this given data. Here, N1 is 13, N2 is 10 x1 bar is 14.95, x2 bar is 22.29, s1 is 6.84 and s2 is 5.32. Let us use this data to calculate test statistics using t formula given by x1 bar minus x2 bar upon s into under root 1 upon n1 plus 1 upon n2. x1 bar, x2 bar, n1 and n2 are already given here. We need to calculate s using this formula. For that, we need the values of summation x1 minus x1 bar the whole square and summation x2 minus x2 bar the whole square. Now, let us see how this s1 and s2 will give us the values of these two summations. Let us find out this. Note that s1 square that is variance formula is summation x1 minus x1 bar the whole square divided by n1 minus 1. Taking this n1 minus 1 on the other side, we will get n1 minus 1 into s1 square is equal to summation x1 minus x1 bar the whole square. That is this value. So this term's value is n1 minus 1 into s1 square. s1 is already known. s1 is already known. It is 6.84. So we will substitute 6.84 over here. n1 is 13. So finally, we will get summation x1 minus x1 bar the whole square. On the similar lines, we will calculate summation x2 minus x2 bar the whole square by the formula n2 minus 1 into s2 square because s2 is known and n2 is also known. Now, let us substitute for summation x1 minus x1 bar the whole square as this and summation x2 minus x2 bar the whole square as this over here and substitute the values. You can pause the video and check the substitution. After simplification, we found s is equal to 6.24. Now let us substitute this value of s into test statistics over here. After simplifying which we get test statistic is minus 2.80. In next step, we are going to find the critical value. For that, we are going to use 5% LOS and degrees of freedom will be n1 plus n2 minus 2. n1 plus n2 is 23. So degrees of freedom will be 21. Now let us see the t table for degrees of freedom 21 
and 5% LOS for two tail test. So for two tail test at 5% LOS and 21 degrees of freedom, the value is 2.080. Let us note down this value in our answer. So critical value is 2.080. In last step, we compare the calculated value and critical value. We see mod of calculated value is greater than the critical value. So we should reject the null hypothesis. And when we say so, we are saying there is a significant difference between the means of two samples. I hope you understood this example as well. Now let us proceed for last example. Here, a group of five players were given a diet A are of weight 42, 39, 38, 60 and 41 kgs. A second group of seven players from the same sport were given diet B are of weight 38, 42, 56, 64, 68, 69 and 62 kgs. We are asked to find whether there is a significant difference between the diets. Let us proceed for the solution. First, we define H0 as there is no significant difference between the diet A and B. Therefore, we say mu1 is equal to mu2. HA will be alternative of this. Here we are saying there is a significant difference between the diet A and B. So mu1 is not equal to mu2. So this is two directional. Therefore, this is two tail test. Now let us note down the data from the question. Here N1 that is first sample is of size 5 and N2 is the second sample. Its size is 7. You can see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 people are considered under sample 2. You can calculate X1 bar on your own. These are the values from the X1. Similarly, X2 bar I see is 57. So X1 bar is 44, X2 bar is 57. After this, first we find out the standard deviations of these two data. The standard deviation of first data is given by S1 has formula under root summation x1 minus x1 bar the whole square divided by n1 minus 1. By substituting these values over here, we see s1 is 9.08. Similarly, standard deviation for the second data denoted by s2 given by the formula under root summation x2 minus x2 bar the whole square divided by n2 minus 1 has value 12.42. Now we use this s1 and s2 to calculate s given by the formula under root summation x1 minus x1 bar the whole square plus summation x2 minus x2 bar the whole square divided by n1 plus n2 minus 2. We have already seen in earlier example summation x1 minus x1 bar the whole square can be replaced by n1 minus 1 into s1 square and summation x2 minus x2 bar the whole square can be replaced by n2 minus 1 into s2 square. So after replacing and substituting for these values I see value of s is 11.20. Now we finally use this value to find the test statistics given by the formula x1 bar minus x2 bar divided by s into under root 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2. Substituting all these values which are mentioned over here, we get test statistic value is minus 1.9822. Now let us proceed to see what is the critical value. For critical value, we are going to take LOS 5% and degrees of freedom n1 plus n2 minus 2. That is 12 minus 2 is equal to 10. Now let me take you to the table. Check for two tail test for degrees of freedom 10 and LOS 0 0.05. The value is 2.228. Let us note down this value. Finally, we compare this critical value with test statistics. We see mod of critical value is less than the table value. So we should accept the null hypothesis. And when we say so, we are saying there is no significant difference between the means of two samples. That means there is no difference between diet A and diet B. I hope guys you understood this example as well. Now it is your turn to solve some examples. This is your practice example one. Some of the points of the solution are mentioned here as a hint. They will definitely help you. This is practice example two. These are the corresponding hints. I hope guys you will solve these examples at your end. Please write me in comment box whether you got these solutions or not. Please also write me how much useful you find this video is for you. Keep watching my videos until I publish my next video. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.